return to BotCon 2024. Rescue Boss Hotshot. Oh, yeah, no, I can't. Soundwave! Guys and gals. BotCon 24! Woohoo! Woo! We're gonna start out with blockies. So have you all seen the blocky display yet? Yes. Yeah, yeah these are blockies, uh, new company. Well, uh, we've got, uh, we got a hold of uh, waves one through six, I believe. Uh, in addition to Transformers, they also did, uh, I can't remember the other line that they did, but um, we'll have seen him make, you seen Tarn make an appearance in the uh, Transformers Cyberverse series. Um, actually duplicate duplicate uh, versions of him as well, um, if you know the episode that I'm talking about. I don't, uh, you know, I didn't watch it long enough to see if they settled on him just being one, um, being one, one bot, because I know there were multiple versions of him, but you know. They did? Okay, cool. For the, okay, uh, this is the RMX-16 Overture. Uh, if you haven't gotten them, uh, if you haven't gotten them, I don't know if they have any left. Sold out. It's sold out? Yeah, it's all sold out. So um, if you haven't gotten any yet, if you didn't get a chance to get it, you just missed out. Sorry. Still got the Unicron there for 2500 G1 still playing. The answer is no. I remember you. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> Oh, the Grimlock panel. The other, the other cornerstone of your ability to do animation work is, is improv, improv, improv. To stay in the moment, to listen as much as you blab, uh, and, and be, be spontaneous. Uh, it, it never stops serving you, and that's the other part of being ready, ready, ready when, when opportunity strikes. Okay, I'm going to do my, my line here. Did anyone see that show that we did? It's called Cloud Nine. You didn't see it? Oh, I gotta tell you, I was brilliant. <laughs> it's probably the best work I've ever done in my life. Greg, breathtaking. It, it, I've never seen a performance like that ever. And I've seen Olivier. I've seen. So, um, luckily with Bumblebee and Rise of the Beast, the Transformers movies are getting rebooted. Um, if Jetfire or Perceptor or Grimlock were to return in the movies, um, would you need to change your voices? And if so, how would you do it? Uh, if the voice is uh, something that if you feed and water it and take care of it, can last you a lifetime. When I did my first, uh, one of my first uh, Hanna-Barbera jobs, uh, is it Dawes or Don Messer? Dawes. Dawes. Who was um, well, what was I did an episode of the, what they were called the New Jetsons, and uh, I was I played it. I played the uh, Curly Quasar. I had a blind date with Judy Jetson. I saw and, that. Thank you. It still airs. Uh, <laughs> Dawes Butler came in on a game. He was in his senior years, and he sat gingerly down on the stool. And ten, at 30, 10 seconds later, Elroy Jetson started talking, and I thought. My God, if you take care of yourself, you can do this for a lifetime. Yep. And uh, we're both here to attest to that now. Yep. Uh, not that we're going anywhere. Don't, don't get any ideas. <laughs> but, but, but it's like that. We're, we're the masters of, of our vocal abilities, and uh, that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, Dawes. So don't get <clears throat> any ideas. Dawes was in his uh, mid 70s when, uh, when I did the Jetsons. I played Boy Boy Nova who was uh, Jane Jetson's high school boyfriend, who was kind of a nerd, but then became uh, um, a uh, Vegas uh, uh, star. He was like a, you know, he, had, he was like the star singer in Vegas. So I, I became really hip, and I was the same thing. I was blown away by this little old guy sitting there, and no boy comes out of his mouth. Yep. Yeah, G-Dad, yeah, G-Dad. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Two, three, number 
are two. No, 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 no. I need more. One, One two, three. Number two. Number two. Who's that? Number two. Listen to me. Now that Tarantulas has begun his process with the quantum core, he's imprisoned himself in our timeline until it is completed. We can reconfigure Tarantulas uh, target. Instead of manipulating the future, we can direct it into the past and erase him from the timeline. Press the green buttons on the control panel next to you. No, don't you dare! You no stopper, you eight-legged freak. Let me go, let me! What's up, guys? I just got out of the Greg Berger and um, Paul Eiding panel. They also did the script reading with um, Bumper John, uh, Bumper, uh, Bumper Johnson, is that his name? I keep, getting, I keep forgetting his name. Um, so I'm not that familiar with the voice actor of Bumblebee, even though I've watched animated. Um, Bumper Robinson, not Bumper Johnson. Um, he did. The, he joined in shortly, and uh, the voice actor Tarantulas to do the script reading. That was fun. Very awesome. They really filled in their characters. Um, it was overall. It was just an awesome experience. And um, I even got to ask uh, Greg Berger and Paul Eiding a question. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of it filmed on my personal phone, but I had a, I had a buddy actually um, film all that for me, so he's going to send all that to me. So uh, you guys will be seeing that pretty soon. The dealer room is closed as of right now. It, it closes at 5, so um, not going to be doing any purchasing. But they do have an after dealer room thing going on with the hotels again, I think, that I've heard from someone else. Um, I might check those again. But... Um, yeah, right yeah, now I'm going to be going to uh, get Subway with the friends, and, um, and I'm probably going to mess around with Transformers. And uh, yeah, end the day right there, and then I'll see Kyron, check check him on how he's doing. Um, hopefully he's going to be better enough to come back tomorrow. Really good BotCon trip. I'll see you later. Peace. And to all are watching Transformers 1. Rock, paper, scissors, transformers. Let's get it. I got a gun. Oh, wait. If it's the same thing, we got to see which number's higher, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll go, go that route. Oh, I, you have 485. I have 835. Yeah, you win that one. All right. Best three out of five. Oh, is, it, is that for BotCon? Huh? Is that for BotCon people? Here's turn. How's it going? Because now he knows how to do the... Uh, The last night Bumblebee? You need a big yep. door. No, I have little, another Bumblebee that built the Studio Series line. Sweet. Oh, yeah, technically that counts as the Studio Series it's, Bumblebee. It's not. Uh, but no, it's, it's not? It technically it does. The mold does appear in Studio Series. Does it? That two I, pack. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. That two, it was in the two pack. This might be. It might be. Anyway, all right. Three, two, one. Really? Yes, from the last. This yeah. Oh yeah, that was the mold that, that they used for the studio series. It's the mold they still use in the studio series, but just alterations. Two, zero. It feels a lot worse. Two, zero. Than the other ones. No, it doesn't have the nice angle tilts like the. the I didn't uh, give you permission. Did Timmy, you I, I like the old seven mold to, better. You pardon me. Well, the, 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 the newest one. I just speak in my car, but I don't want to run up and get it. I don't feel comfortable with this man around me. Why? He's going to beat you up. Uh, yeah. We're going to beat you to death. Four path. Yeah. yeah. Bam. Wham. Well, unless I'm going to go grab my Bluetooth speaker. Why? No, we're going to go grab my Bluetooth speaker. Why? Imagine if Rufuson did you know that. Dude, that would be amazing. To, or you to, could draw on G1. I hit. could actually convert this into a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> but I don't want to. I'm going to have to buy a used MP10 trailer. That would be an expensive Bluetooth speaker. I found one, but I'm buying uh, that one first. Just yeah. don't break him, please. I still need to ask for that. Well, well, too bad you're not getting mine. You dawn to dust. We all try to do what we must. But was there a choice? Skybite! What are you talking about? And so our story is drawing to an end. And, wait a minute. Are you saying we have the B. Greg Berger here and we're not even going to have even one line from Grimlock? 
Me Grimlock not animated, me G1 King. Me get recast because of that big bozo who does voice for Purple Dinosaur. <laughs> he love you, me hate he. He got Grimlock family with a big tail swine easy as a one, two, three. I hate you, you big party. <laughs>